Actually, you know what? We don't really need... Oh, oops. Derp. <laughs> Way to go, dude. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be having a little chat with you in the debriefing room. Hey folks, Pat here. Let's uh, try ourselves a new carrier game. Got a little bit of time this morning. Um, not enough. Yeah, not enough to cut a, a War on the Sea episode, but we'll have some more of those here soon. Um, it's finals weekend, so... <laughs> <laughs> a little busy, <laughs> so, but let's get some destruction in this morning while we can and actually explore around this game here a little bit. I've been playing it for a few days. Um, it's kind of interesting. Um, I want to do the campaign, so there's some other guys out there who have been doing the um, sandbox mode, which I'm not really a fan of, but the campaign does have some historical missions in it and so it's a good opportunity to actually learn a little bit about carrier operations and also uh, learn a little bit about the war so first things first we gotta make ourselves a little admiral here who's gonna flap his arms around furiously on the carrier deck uh, let's see these guys are all not regulation no 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 ah yeah you look a little grouchy though you look a little too happy. <laughs> you need to clean up <laughs> a little bit. There we go. We'll take a nice old school admiral here. Our starting order will be defensive position. I'll explain that when we get there. Um, this Hard guy sounds a little bit more. Uh... Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. No. Hard work is what keeps yeah, the okay. ship moving. I don't think the face really matters. You can't really see nothing. Um, but we're gonna go full MacArthur here on this guy. Bam, and then, bam, and then, oh, well, let's do the silver ones, and then, um, we want, bam. <laughs> so, MacArthur hated the Navy, so, <laughs> so we're going to make him suffer here a little bit. Uh, we're going to put him in uh, the Ernie King Classic, and uh, call it good. Um, so this game, it's different. You control a task group, just a single task group, and um, it's centered on one fleet carrier, we start out with a light carrier. We didn't start. They, they didn't have these early in the war. I mean, they had a couple, but they they, they didn't use them um, in fleet operations until later in the war. Um, actually, they might not. They might have still been under construction. But uh, regardless, we'll 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 play with the task force a little bit more in the future. Uh, I want to show you the carrier. So you got two types of monies here. You got green dollar dues and you got orange dollar dues. Green dollar dues are how you buy stuff, and orange dollar dues is how you upgrade stuff. And so they give us a few to start with here. Let's go check out our carrier here. Uh, we're going to start with her. Uh, we're going to upgrade the radar right off the bat because that's handy. And we're going to grab a few more guns on this thing. Well, actually, you know what? We probably don't need those right off the bat. So let's just stick with one uh, for the moment. Uh, we do want to upgrade our aircraft, though. Uh, because we start with Brewster Buffaloes, which suck. <laughs> so we're going to at least get some Wildcats. I can live with the Vindicators and the Devastators for a little bit. Vindicators are old school. I think it was the first all-metal dive bomber that the uh, the Navy had. They're pretty planes, but they're kind of useless. Um, the other thing that I definitely want to upgrade is my crew. Uh, we want to get more dudes on the boat. To start, let's grab this dude down here because I don't think we have him already. No, I know my mug's in the way, but he looks like that. It's like a fine, upstanding young man. And so, this is our crew right here. We have two officers, and both these guys are terrible. So, this is kind of their skill level. So, skill level one, this is bad. And so, let's go grab some new guys here. This guy looks good. We'll buy him. And this guy looks pretty good here. I know you can't see him. But, you know, better than these two losers. <laughs> so, back to the dock with you guys, and uh, we're going to grab these guys instead. All right, so we'll be a little bit better off. We still have two dollar dues left. Uh, let's go ahead and grab those um, anti-aircraft guns. Yeah. Because those come in handy. Um, so, Lexington class. All right, so it's what we start with. Um... So this is the USS Saratoga. She's got the twin 5-inch mounts here, but Lex never gets any love in games. So we're going to roll with uh, Lady Lex, the gray lady, here in this one. And that's all our monies. That's all we got. 
Um, the only other thing that I want to do is I actually want to peel back these guys a little bit. Um, fighters in this game are vital, and so we're going to actually go a little bit heavier with the fighters. All right. There we go. All right. Um, let's see. Let's just go ahead and jump in here. So the first mission in this game is you, you head on out to Wake Island, and you got to knock out a carrier task force that's uh, attacking Wake and pick up a dude. So let's go get to it. There are a few carrier games out there that start with Wake Island. Wake Island has just been attacked by the Japanese Navy Admiral. Oh, there is a White House official on the island. He's <laughs> our base there. We cannot get to him while the island is under fire. So we need to find the exact location of the enemy carrier. Blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. Backstory. So yeah, we got to go attack these guys because they're attacking Wake. Wake. And then we got to send a little rescue mission out here to pick up a dude who's uh, trapped at Wake Island. Where our men will um, take VIP on board for a I would suggest he grab a rifle. <laughs> so, but whatever, we do what we're told. Uh, you can't pause this game, so we are going to do a couple moves here, and then I'll explain what I'm going to do once we get underway. So this is our map. Um, I find myself spending a little bit more time on this lately than anything else. Um, so this is a contact up here. We got to go check it out, and so we need to spool up um, mission down here to go identify that target. Um, actually, no. We got to scout them out first. That's what we got to do, and then we have to send another mission to go ID him. Actually, you know what? We don't need to do that. Let's uh, belay that. Um. We can just send out fighters. So, but here's our carrier. We get, we're going to do quite a bit of deck bossing in this game, uh, which is kind of fun. So, but the first thing that I want to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to spool up a scout mission. There's two types of scout missions. These are your missions down here. Uh, and uh, you can send out recon missions. They take two dive bombers. They take forever to get out there and back. Um, I've been finding that just sending out... This scout mission here with two fighters actually works a little bit better. Looks like we got a snooper, so we'll take care of him in a minute. Let's go ahead and speed this up here just quick, just a bit. Um, and then I'll keep these dive bombers because we'll, once we actually ID targets, once we actually find, once we actually determine whether or not they're friendly or enemy or neutral, well, they wouldn't be friendly. <laughs> so then we actually have to go out there and ID them using this mission. I'll explain that in a bit. But let's go ahead and launch a scout mission here. These guys will spool up. And off they go. So the Lex here is a pretty good model. So um, I haven't seen the other ones yet. But apparently you have both the Yorktown class and the Essex class. As well. But those are later in the game. Um, I have made it to a mission where you get a Yorktown because later on in the game you actually get to fly the Doolittle Raid, which is pretty cool. That's something that's not usually modeled in most games. But let's go ahead and kick those guys off. Let's spool up two more fighters to go shoot this jerk down. Um, so you have to do a lot of deck management in this game. It's kind of difficult. New enemy was found. Let's go check that. So see that guy has been ID'd as an enemy, so we'll send out these guys to go ID him here. And then we'll uh, spool up a strike to try and wipe him out. Um, so this game is a little gamey. There are some elements in it that... I don't know. Like... There's some World War II board games that I like, and so like Memoir of 44 is one of my favorites. This game has like elements of that in there, and I don't know if that really belongs in a carrier game. Uh, it's not exactly what I would do, but uh, it works, you know? On a certain level, it's a little annoying. I'll show you what I mean here in a couple minutes. So, while these guys launch, we've got uh, our task force cruising around here. There's our uh, Saipan over there, um, along with all these tankers. So, which is crazy. We would never roll around with a whole bunch of tankers, slow ass tankers, <laughs> in real life, but that's okay. All right, next mission, we gotta go ID this guy, so we're gonna send the dive bombers out there to go get a fix on him. You gotta set up your strike and your recovery area, and you gotta kinda stick to this, otherwise your boys get splashed. Uh, let's go ahead and confirm that. Let's go ahead and launch that. 
and off they go. And so by the time they get back, <coughs> or by the time they ID that guy, we should have a strike spooled up. And so that'll be next. You gotta configure your deck here a little bit. So we'll configure it for recovery and build the strike out here on the bow. That way we can bring some of these boys back. Uh, these guys will be back pretty soon. So, uh, almost all strikes involve torpedo bombers, so I'm going to spool up three of those right off the bat. Or stage three of those. Just to save ourselves a little bit of time here. So, like I said, I've been playing this game a little bit. Um, sometimes it's really easy. This mission's pretty easy. The later missions are not easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> there is a definite non-zero probability that we'll lose my carrier at some point in time. <laughs> so, <laughs> I promise I won't deny you the, the pain. So, if we decide to continue with the series here. Uh, but that's up to y'all. So, if you like this, we'll we'll do some more. Um, not gonna give up on War of the Sea, I promise you. In fact, I've got plans uh, for that. So we got a couple minutes of peace and quiet here, so let me show you some of the other things. There's our counter scouts. They have found those guys. Let's go ahead and recover those dudes. We shot down that snooper. But here's our crew. These are all the guys that are on the ship. We need to get another guy up here. So, navigation department, you guys look armed for some reason. We'll kick him over to an aircraft if we ever get spotted. Navigation allows you to go faster. This allows you to handle more planes. This is faster damage control. This is engineering. That's how fast they fix planes. And medical, that's how fast they fix your dudes. And yeah, your dudes get hurt in this game <laughs> from time to time. Uh, so that's one thing in the game. The next thing is we have our sections here. This is really cool. So it reminds me of the old Time Life books with the ship coming out. Uh, but yeah, when you get damage going on, so we got guys over here stationed in our pump room. So just in case uh, anything shows up in the bilge. And then we've got dudes over here in Damage Control Central. And they fix things automatically if anything breaks. And things have a tendency to break in this game. Um, at the most inopportune moments. Uh, we're just waiting on that recon mission. To ID those dudes. Um, we could stage some cap. Um, I'm not too worried about it in this mission. But in other ones, you use like every free minute that you've got in order to actually do your kind of... Because you don't have two carriers. You, you know... Early war doctrine for the Americans was to run with a single carrier. Uh, they quickly learned that was a bad idea. <laughs> um, because you usually want two carriers. One of them to kind of perform all the chores, scare off the submarines, put up the cap, and stuff like that. And another one serves as your strike carrier. This guy better find these dudes. <sighs> Should be up here somewhere. Maybe he didn't see him. I don't know, or maybe he did see. Oh no, we already did ID him, so we can go ahead and spool up the strike. See, I missed a, I missed a thing there. Let's go ahead and slow down here. Let's get an airstrike going. So the third thing that you have on here is the island. This is where all your officers are, and your officers can run different missions. Um, so like this dude here, we need to get a guy down here so we can Ready, run another right. airstrike. So you got different compartments in the island here. And these different compartments allow you to do different things. There's an admiral dude there flapping his arms around. That's all he does. <laughs> so let's add an airstrike. And now we got a new airstrike mission down here. Let's go prep this. And thank God it's actually paused while you're in this screen because this takes a minute to explain. You can't just barf out planes at something. You actually have to, like, plan it. Um, whatever. <laughs> so we'll make it work. And so the plan is you use these cards here, and then you've got three different types of cards. You got red cards or attack cards, blue cards or defense cards, and green cards or support cards. These are almost always um, dive bombers. And then these guys are usually torpedo planes. This little blue thing here is a torpedo plane, green one's a dive bomber, and the pink ones are fighters. <laughs> and so you gotta. Kind of like Memoir 44, you got to kind of set up your attack here. And so these guys sometimes block different types of attacks and stuff. It's a real pain in the ass. Um, not a huge fan of this system, but I've gotten a little bit better at it um, lately. 
so I think we're gonna do something like this, and then it tells you what's going on. So attack, definitely damage one enemy target, but will not destroy it. So let's actually go after this one to two. And now let's see if we can actually get this down a little bit so that not everybody dies. Um, let's see, defensive next two maneuvers. Let's try that. Zero to two, yeah, okay. So this is what we need. We need three torpedo planes, one dive bomber, and two um, fighters. And so this will be our recovery area here. Confirm. We got to go back here and we got to get a dive bomber spooled up. So let's get that guy up here. These guys will be back soon. It takes about an hour to launch a strike. So we got an hour and a half, two, almost two hours to recover these guys. So we're going to go ahead and launch a strike. Um, as soon as we get these guys set up here. And then everybody rolled on to the stern. Respot the deck. And off we go. The little dudes hanging out on the cargo nets there. That's got to be a little freaky. <laughs> so, <laughs> especially in gnarly weather. So, fortunately in this game, there's not really... There's rain, but there's not really a sea state. So, uh, wind direction doesn't matter in this game, which is kind of bad. <laughs> so, but whatever, we'll take what we got. So it is kind of fun to actually watch them perform all the deck operations and kind of have to think a few moves ahead and things like that. There's a lot of micro in this game, but there's a lot of there's a lot of like quality of life stuff that they've added into it since uh, last year. Because last year they did put out a demo of this game. I did play it for a couple days, but I don't like the sandbox mode. It's kind of gamey. You just kind of run around and do these little missions that pop up. Um, so hopefully the historical campaign's actually got some cool cool things in it. Um, I haven't made it that far in it, so I don't know. Um, I think I do the first leg, and I think there's three legs of it. And so, I've done enough of it where it's like, yeah, I might make a good series. So, I might get bored of it. You guys might get bored of it. Um, the game's not as pretty as War on the Sea. The ocean in this game is frickin' mean and angry and green. It looks like the North Sea, not the Pacific. So, George, you'd probably feel at home here. <laughs> but, uh, that's okay. I don't know who made the game. Kind of think of it. Um, I don't know. I'll have to go look. I should have done that. <laughs> so, before I decided to start talking smack about their ocean. <laughs> Alright, so strike's almost off. Once the strike's off, we'll hit recovery. We got 36 minutes to bring these guys back. We should be okay. Um, yeah, it takes about an hour to launch a strike. A full strike of six groups. Six sections. I guess. Um... Because if you do not recover your planes, they go bye-bye. <laughs> get picked up by their destroyers. Actually, we don't have any destroyers. Do we? I don't think that matters. No, we got submarines. So your 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 task group around here can perform different functions. So they kind of have, like, they'll either buff your carrier or <coughs> allow you to run an extra mission or two or something like that. Um, we'll get into that the further we get into this series, because there's definitely escorts that you want that are much, much better. Let's go ahead and recover these guys here. Those are fighters. Looks like we got another interloper up here. We'll go ahead and shoot him down once we get our boys back. There they are. So, Wildcats, pretty little planes, little jugs. Uh, I think the game's got Hellcats in it later. Maybe it's even got Corsairs. I don't even know. Um, so we did not destroy the carrier, but we did destroy the other things. So this one's going to take a little bit longer than I thought. Um, let's go ahead and show you the cinematics here. This is the only combat you see unless you get attacked. So, there you go. Let's see if it overloads the machine. <laughs> Boom! Got a hit on a carrier. Because our planes are being flown by, flown by ghosts. <laughs> Alright, so we got two of them. Um, we're going to have to go back for another strike. So we'll spool that up here as soon as we get these guys off the deck to go shoot this jerk down. Actually, you know what? We don't really need... Oh, oops. Derp. <laughs> Way to go, dude. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll be having a little chat with you in the debriefing room once you uh, <laughs> change your clothes, change your shorts. <laughs> Uh, these guys will go grab him automatically. They should be. Hup, 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 hup. Here they come. Go ahead and push him right off the deck there. Oh, I'm on free camera. This is easier on deck. Let's go ahead and spool up another strike here. Give me uh, fighters and two more. Let me do three torpedo bombers. We got enough. Yeah, we're we're good. Um, so our other strike will be back here in 45 minutes. It'll have at least like two hours to land, and so we'll be fine. Unfortunately, I don't have enough officers right now to run another strike, so we gotta find... Uh, somebody else, you, sir. Send the Admiral up to the flag plot. That way we can run two airstrike missions. Let's go ahead and do that. You can go back to... Checking the water. <laughs> What's this guy doing? Torpedo bomber squadron on the deck. Eh. Put him on that. Oh, for the moment. So now I can prepare another strike. Oh, he's really close. Let's, um... We gotta stay in the area so we can recover our other strike. Let's do the same mission here. Like this. All work. Everybody's good. This definitely damaged one enemy target, but will not destroy it. Well, that sucks. Let's get some more uh, offense on here. One and two. Defense. Defense all maneuvers. Let's try this one. Zero to one. I want to make sure this guy's dead. Neat. So what do we do here? Attack of one and five. Seventy-five percent. There we go. So we need another fighter. Okay. If you insist. Need one more fighter, boys. Fighter squadron on the deck. I think that's all our birds. Oh no, we got plenty. That's right. Yeah, it's a good idea to always have a couple more fighters and everything else. Dive bombers are the ones that you just don't seem to use that much unless you have good cards for them. Uh, but later in the game, you'll see that it really does matter. We got two hours, we got four hours to recover these guys, so we got plenty of time. <laughs> we might not have that too much time to recover these guys. Let's see. Hopefully I plan this well. Otherwise we're going to be scooching planes all over the place here in a minute. Nice and sloppy weather. Everybody's getting wet. Well, it's the Central Pacific. At least it'll be a warm wet. Uh, a warm wet. wet. <laughs> so we got... Well, what just happened? Where'd those guys go? Airstrike? Airstrike. Did I misread that? Did I just splash some boys? <laughs> I might have. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, that's alright. Go ahead and launch the strike. I bet you I did. I just lost two of my boys. Sure did. I guess they were in recovery and I didn't notice it. Sorry about that, boys. So at least you're in the area. So we'll send a, a tanker to go pick you guys up. You guys can ride that bucket all the way home. <laughs> alright. So, yeah, if you're not familiar with this game, um, it's been around for about a year. There was a, a demo version of it on the Steam Store for a little while. Um, like I said, when I played it before, it was pretty cool. It was just... Um, it didn't have a historical campaign. And now that it does, I think it, it deserves a decent shake. Um, there's other guys who are playing the... Uh, the sandbox mode, and I can see why some pe that would appeal to some folks. Um, but I think it gives us a good opportunity to kind of talk about the war, learn a little bit about flight deck operations, which are um, something that's not well modeled in a lot of games. I've seen it in a couple other games. Uh, so like Carriers of War, you have a, a flight deck screen, and you can see the planes kind of rotate through it, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can't really manipulate it too much. You can do it a little bit. <clears throat> um, but it's not like this game where you really have to stage your individual groups and think about where they're all going to be going. So let's see. We're going to need three of these for this mission. 
this one or well we get another mission here as soon as we uh, destroy the carrier where we can go pick up that dude and it requires a fighter a dive bomber and a torpedo plane um, and so we'll stage those guys up here on the bow there we go here we go let's blow up a carrier so you get two combat sequences in today's video <laughs> Coming for you, buddy. I don't think the Japanese had that many of these little carriers, but that's okay. They're dead. <laughs> and so here's the new mission, the VIP rescue mission. It requires one and one and one. Up oh, damage in sections, so something's flooding. This room here is flooding. Someone left porthole open. Idiots. And so they just go back in there and suck it all out. Up, 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 up. And they'll head on back over here to the pump room. A lot of these section rooms in here are pretty cool. Um, maybe we'll take a little. So here's sick bay right here. Um, crew quarters right here. All our engines, turbines. Here's the turbines. Shafts. Uh, what do we got here? Generators. What is this over here? This is the helm. So that's where the rudder is. Uh, steering gear. I'm not mistaken. Some of you guys out there know a hell of a lot more about ships than I do, but <clears throat> we'll uh, we'll explore it a little bit, especially once we start getting hit. <laughs> so that strike is almost back. Um, let's go ahead and prepare our VIP rescue mission. We got to go down there. We're gonna turn the turn the task group around once we recover. It. Well, we we can just loiter. We can actually head towards it. Let's do that. We're about to stop anyway. So yeah, confirm that. Let's head towards it. Take some speed off the register here. There is no surface combat in this game, at least to my knowledge. And so we don't care if anything just rolls right up onto our grill in this game. Which is decidedly not realistic, but what else? All right, we got four hours to recover this strike, so let's go ahead and launch this mission here. And that will be this guy. Come on. Come on, fellas. Do the things. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I know. Y'all grouchy. Y'all want sandwiches, coffee, cigarettes, all the things. But uh, we got work to do first. <laughs> Start engines, spool up. And there we go. In a little dark. That's okay. Then recover. We're gonna recover everybody. We're gonna just go ahead and put them all in the barn. All the chickens to the roost. What do you got? Neutral ships out there. Don't care about that. All right, recover everybody. Let's put them all in the hangar here. Recover. Go ahead, speed this up. Wait and see if anything funky happens. Right here, we can watch them come in. It is getting awful dark. Getting a little bit, a little bit late for carrier operations, but I think you can launch planes up till 1800, maybe a little bit later, depending on. So we got a submarine out here. We got five hours to deal with him. Uh, I'm not going to worry about him for the moment. Let's get our birds back. So, it does give you a cooldown timer on all these little missions here, which is kind of... It, it helps you plan things out. It'd be, like, much, much more stressful if this didn't have, like, a cooldown timer on it. You know, and then you're just like, oh my god, what do I do about that submarine? <laughs> you know, <laughs> is he really close? Is this really a problem? So you got four hours to recover these guys. I think as soon as we recover them, the game's over, or the mission's over, so we don't have to worry about that submarine. Here we go, pull them up. Three more. We went and picked up Harry Hopkins off of Wake Island. We can take him back to uh, his big boss. And that's the mission right there. There we go. <laughs> so not too bad. 
All right, so let me show you. Um, we lost one squadron. Okay, so I guess we didn't get those guys splashed. I thought we did. Maybe we did, but maybe they don't count as losses. They should, but whatever. Um, so my cards get better a little bit here, and we can go dish out navy crosses to people. I don't think anything that we did today would warrant any of those. <laughs> so, but whatever. I think they just picked out those. That one looks pretty. <laughs> so let's use it. So we got to give these to our officers because those actually dish out new cards, uh, at least in the beginning. And so now we have new cards that we can play with. Now we can give them over to crew guys. So let's see. Uh, you? I like the generalist one because then you can kind of move your guys around. Um, and they help out in all the departments when they do that, and so um, these two guys are a little bit more experienced. Maybe you'll get paid next time, dude. All right, there we go. And so we go back here and we hit continue, and it takes us back to Pearl, where we have new dollar dues and new upgrades for the next mission. The next mission, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to go back to Wake and actually try and do the um, the relief convoy, So, which is a historical mission. So... Um, they tried to do that in uh, early 1940 or late 1941 with uh, Lex and I believe Saratoga. Um, sent some guys out because the Marine garrison, of course, fought off Wake the first uh, first uh, the first assault, which occurred shortly after Pearl Harbor. That pissed the Japanese off. They came back in force within a couple of weeks, <laughs> and we almost had a very early carrier battle. But the uh, the admiral who replaced Kimmel, who I believe was Pai. Um, took over right when they were launching that. He was like, no, that's a terrible idea. Don't do that. <laughs> Which turned out to be a good thing because the Japanese were there and they were kind of ready for him. And um, if we had lost the Lex or the Saratoga that early in the war, it would have been a very different war. And so we'll see We'll see what happens in the in the next uh, next video here. So these should be a little bit shorter sometimes than the, than the War on the Sea ones. And so I um, enjoyed spending a couple minutes with you here this morning checking out a new game. So if you like it, uh, let me know down there in the comments. Um, promise you we are not getting away from the War of the Sea. So it was just kind of interesting to see a game like this drop. And we I'd share it with you all here today. So uh, questions, comments, concerns, you know where they go. If you want to keep up with the series, you know what you need to do. Uh, in the meantime, we'll be back here real soon. Episode number 22, I believe, of War on the Sea. So hope to see you there. Take care now. Bye.